for inanimate behaviors. And Gavin helps us ID them, tells us different fun things about them. So you feel like you're on a fun little safari. And um, we also go on some pretty crazy tangents. I think we did a good 20 minutes on penguins when Marco joined us once. Mm. Um, and we see some fun stuff. And it's a really good time. And uh, if we see baboons, you'll get to see Gavin see a baboon, which is a good time for everyone. And the humor, yeah. I mean, the kind of the joke content is pretty elite on this stream as well. I think our humor is pretty high level, if I do say so myself. It's starting to, you know, foster itself. It's, I agree. It's getting, we're getting good at this, you guys. It's, it's, we're getting good at this. It's got legs. <laughs> hey, who would have thought? Not Who's me. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, so then, yeah, Gavin, anyway, how are you? How was your day? Amazing. You know, it's a, it's a kind of a cool, crisp day up here in North County, San Diego at the Safari Park. So all good. The wildlife are thriving and no, nothing to complain about. Except the weather. Well, you know, you take what you can get, right? It's always, you got to look at the bright side. It's not very bright out today, but still, nonetheless, we're being very positive. True. I mean, it, it is a, a June gloomy 67 degrees. You know, it could be like a June gloomy 47 degrees. Problem is, is we've so, had June gloom yeah. since December. So yeah, that's, that's the true. only downside. Well, too. yeah, I mean, I have you covered for May gray and June gloom. I don't have you covered for record rainfall mm -hmm. and cloudiness. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not a good time. <laughs> San Diego's not meant to be this green, but you know, no, here no. we go. Um, it is very pretty. All right. Well, without further ado, we will get started and see what our first Ooh, uh, first well, animal. Of the I day got is. excited. Also, just for everybody else to know, is that this is not um, this website that we're using, Wild Watch. Um, well, it's not Wild Watch. It's what is it, Zooniverse? No, yeah, Zooniverse. Um, mm -hmm. This is not something that only we can use. Anybody can sign up to this platform and help identify all kinds of things, right? Like Wild, Life, Wild Watch Kenya and Wild Watch Burring Owl are San Diego Zoo Wildlife Alliance's programs, but mm -hmm. there are tons of other facilities that you can help with penguin research. You can help with um, different types of amphibians, plants, like whatever your jam is, you can participate in citizen science on this platform. And so if that's something that sounds really cool to you, it's a great way to help researchers. It's a great way to learn a little bit about different kinds of animals. Um, and it's also a really good way to pass the time if you just kind of need something to do. So, um, you know, definitely make sure that you check it out, especially because it does, it does so much to help the researchers go through these images and be able to classify them. So... Um, Very true. Sign on up. And we're going to yes. start with a big old pile of nothing. Whoa. Uh, nothing. A... And I actually, I don't think I've actually asked you this, Gavin, but what, what we do here and what anybody can do on this site. Ooh. There we go. Rawhide. What kind of, what kind of immediate, I guess, kind Ooh. of help and contribution you think we're, we're, you know, giving, participating in something like this? So I think by participating in citizen science initiatives like this, what you're immediately doing is cutting down on the amount of work that field conservationists and scientists have to do to classify all this data. So you're really taking part in a massive aggregation of data research so then they can analyze that data and see how are the animals thriving in their habitat? What does the ecosystem look like? How are the you know livestock and wildlife interacting with each other? What's the human pressure like in the area? And so you're able to take part in that so then they can make conservation decisions on how to best protect wildlife in those areas. Mm, very cool. Taylor's okay. looking at something else now. So Sorry, I was just seeing <laughs> they've been uploading some new photos. Um, and so I think they actually just uploaded a whole new group of them. And so it's actually showing zero percent complete. But um, yeah, I mean, to your point, it's hundreds of thousands of images that these cam cameras take. So it's really helpful. Plus, you get to see cool stuff like elephant hip bones. I thought exactly. it was I thought it was a ski slope. <laughs> Has been mistaken for a ski slope before. Less snow though, so you know. If they can make this is it, actually good. If they can make it snow inside in Dubai and make an indoor ski slope, that could be a ski slope as well. I Anything's like. possible. A anything, anything in this world, you can do it. Anything, All of it. or you can do it. Or it's an elephant. I mean, if you want to take the you know the more conventional approach. And there we Gavin, go. what kind of elephant is this? Oh, African elephant. And you can tell because why? Well, first of all, because we're in Kenya, that's going to be the big the thing that's going to tip me off the most because Asian <laughs> elephants are from not Kenya. And uh, second, <laughs> what the, the big the big tell is the ears. Uh, and it's a, a really good kind of little trick is to look at the ears of an African elephant are shaped like the continent of Africa. And that's the easiest way to tell if you're not as familiar with elephants. And it's it's kind of a dead giveaway. 
Awesome. And yeah, Narnia asked, does our animal identification on Zooniverse help to train in animal recognition AI? And Gavin, I think you've sat in on more meetings about this than I have, but my understanding is that the team has been working on an AI that would be able to do this. Do you know anything about that? That That's my base level understanding of it as well. I don't have a lot more details than that, but I know that's been discussed for sure. Yeah, it's something they're working on, which, you know, puts us out of a job as far as being able to do Wild Watch, but um, it helps them significantly. I mean, I know that one really cool thing that our researchers have been working on is that in our Andean bear program, they have developed an AI that is able to tell the faces of Andean bears by their markings, which if you've ever seen an Andean bear, they don't have like super crazy different markings. It's not like a cheetah with tons of different spots. I mean, they have a spectacled looking face with a certain type of coloring, but there's not a whole lot of difference that you can really tell. And so they've been able to get this AI to tell the difference between individual bears, which is really cool and super helpful for them to kind of track family units and stuff. So it's it's cool stuff for science. That's super cool. Yeah. Yay science. We love science. Yay science. We're all here because of science. Let's be real. Mm. Oh, that's a booty. (laughs) Who dat? Mm-hmm. Well, you got to think it's a Grand Gazelle booty. You got to think. I mean, you got to think so. Uh, think. Is there mm-hmm. a reason that it looks like an owl? Um, I, I think that, I think that's just a happy accident. <laughs> it really does look like an owl. Though. <laughs> it's definitely putting off strong owl vibes. Owl vibes, yeah. The vibes are strong with that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The vibes are the strongest. And <laughs> I don't think there's even an owl button that you could push. So, what would you do? I, I wouldn't know what to do. I'd have to say a different bird other. Yeah, bird other. <laughs> <laughs> and then the scientist looks at that and goes, you know what? That does look like an owl. <laughs> oh, and then we start stuff. That's a cows. nice looking cow. Look at those looking cows. They're eating, they're walking, ruminating, all the things. Incredible. Mm. Incredible. When you say Many ruminating, can you define that? Uh, their stomachs are uh, chewing up the grass inside. And how many stomachs do they have? four or six something like that who could say for sure i mean it'd be impossible to know <laughs> no one could possibly ever know the answer to that uh, it, would, it would just it's, it's unknowable <laughs> at this point uh, it's unknowable which is code for gavin doesn't know the answer <laughs> I, it's code, I don't remember okay i knew it at one point uh, i'm gonna make christy send you back to school um <laughs> How does it work with animals that have multiple stomachs? I've never really understood how that works. Does each stomach have a purpose or is it all just kind of like mixed up in there together? It it does. And so there's different layers to the digestive system. And so it'll move grass and food back and forth so that it can extract as many nutrients out of it as possible. So they can take something that wouldn't be nutrient dense enough for an animal that had a single chambered stomach and extract all the the nutrients out of it and survive on much less nutrient dense food. Can you imagine how powerful koalas would be if they had more than one stomach? It, they'd rule the world. So powerful. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Am I missing something? I don't see I feel like I see livestock maybe in the livestock far corner. Livestock back there. Do you? Mm-hmm. Which one, right or left? Uh, right, right corner. Finely tuned livestock go. eye. See that? Wow. I mean, unknowable how many for sure. Unknowable. But... Who could possibly know? Yeah, it's just really just be a big guess. I, it, there's so many unknowable things that we're wow. trying to know. Of course, my first thought here is that it's mm. 30 degrees Celsius, which it might be 86 degrees Fahrenheit. Again, Kelvin. Yeah. <laughs> right, I forgot what is Kelvin. that Kelvin, like 400 Kelvin? <laughs> well, I got a little traumatized yesterday because somebody asked me how many volts something was. And so I looked up the voltage and they said, no, I need that in, in Kelvin or no, in joules. And then I had to look up how to convert volts to joules. And I learned there's a reason I didn't know because you cannot. So I felt way better when I learned that because I tried to figure it out and I couldn't. Can't be done. It's unknowable. It, no one could do it. No, but but you can convert joules to volts, but you can't do it the other way. It's very confusing, and it was Why? a lot of science involved. I, I, I'm not an electromagnetic statistician, so I don't science. know. Well, we need a new <laughs> guest on the show, then. Is, there's a ghost, Zebra. <laughs> We've got a ghost. So, oh, Taylor, ghost. since you've been gone a little bit, I think we should test your knowledge. What kind of zebra we got there? Oh, I don't know what they had in the med, but uh, in I Kenya. Don't, I don't think Mediterranean. There's not a Mediterranean zebra, to my knowledge. Who's to say? Who's to say? Mm. It's unknowable. The most unknowable. <laughs> I think it's a uh, planes. Survey says correct. Woo! I love when I'm right. Woo! So great. Thank you, Brian. Oh, you had it ready to You're go welcome. this time. That's the best. I had it ready to go. Ready. Oh, look at that! Look at that goat. <laughs> go, 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 go. <laughs> uh, singular goat. 
that's rad. Standing, moving, resting. I don't know. It could be doing any of those things. Who's to know? <laughs> All the things. Whoa. Nothing. Big old pile Moving on. Nothing. Big old um, nothings. Mm-hmm. Must have been a windy day. We got a ghost. There. Something's there. Whoop, whoop. I oh. think I know what it is. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Seriously. <laughs> we have the subject this matter did, expert with this us. Didn't, this didn't hit last week. Why? Right, Gavin? I think we can both agree. Yep. It's it's, a it did not have dick. the same impact. Did not have the same it's impact. It's a small, with that, Taylor. little, have... precious dick dick. Oh, it's gotta so love it. It's so small. So Taylor, what what makes you think it's a dick dick? I'm curious. Um, it is one of the smallest antelope species, so it looks too large to be any of the other species, and its snout is curved in that way that looks like a Star mm-hmm. Wars creature because they have mm-hmm. a like a proboscis, basically. That's exactly right. I, I, I couldn't so good at this. I couldn't agree more. Thank you so much. I endorse your take on this. And the cool thing about Dick Dick is that their nose is super long like that because it cools the air as it heads to their lungs. So when they're in these crazy hot temperatures, like, what is it? Oh, that's not the right button. Did what's, it again. what's happening? Um, well, it's only yeah. 62, so it doesn't need to be too cold. But, um, you it's, know, when it's I'd prefer hot, to call it 16 Celsius, but, you know, that's just Okay, me. well, you're the scientist of the group, so you can have it. Are you a scientist? Well, is that slide. what we would call you? I um, I, I think this, I think <gasps> the debate, whoa! Yay! No Whoa. way. Hold on. New species alert. The first one ever? Is this the first cat we've had? It is. I think so. Oh, poor Kirsten's oh. not here to Holy see Holy shit. Nike. No, but still. Um, wow. <laughs> wow. There's no baboon. But like even do. Aaron's like, wow, wow, wow. Yeah. What? <gasps> That's, That's so cool. Considered. Okay, we need info. African leopard. Oh. Okay, small Man. aside for Narnia to show her what a dick dick looks like. That is a dick dick. Oh, Let's yeah. See if, if that'll there we show go. her screen. Um, so, Taylor, can we get back to the mm-hmm. leopard, please? Yeah, we can. I'm, I was just answering a question, okay? And she wants a dick dick <laughs> oh. animal noise, but we'll get there. We have yes, to get does. on the we'll leopard first. Whoa. Yeah. This is this is special. That's a huge deal. This is super cool. Wow. You do, I mean, I leopards are threatened in this part of the, you know, this part of Africa. They're under a lot of pressure. And this is, wow, this is amazing. That's really I'm, Do I'm, we have an estimated number of how many? African mm. leopards are in the wild. Uh, I want to see if <sighs> Nick would know. Sadly, a few hundred, or l- no, more than more than a few thousand. Than... I think it's okay. Yeah, that's amazing. Dang, son. We'll have to keep an eye. I'll have to keep an eye on this landscape, on this location of this camera trap, because the trees in the background don't look very familiar. Yeah, no, this, this looks is new. different. It's this it looks like a new look. I mean, new for. I mean, this is 2019. It looks new, but though. It just, it's a different a different location. Wow. Very cool. What? Wow. Okay. That's awesome. That's a huge deal. That is Please. first you know, big cat ever on the stream. Taylor, during one of your absences and all of your vacations, we were commenting a few weeks ago that we should have kept a running list all along of the species we identified. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we kind of regret that. Oh, we should. Wouldn't that have been cool? Mm-hmm. Dang. Well, I think we can also go through this and just know, like, did we see those <laughs> things, you know? Well, that's that's a good point. We should probably do that at some point, just so that way we have a good living record, you know, as the show develops and, and I can grows. work on that. I can work totally. on that. That sounds like a great project uh, for you. Okay, let's see here. So we still have a dick dick noise to redeem for Narnia, and also said that Twitch identified the name, the animal name, as a swear word, so we might have to go filter for that one. Great. <laughs> Understandably. <laughs> I, that's the problem that when Monterey Bay was talking about it, they said that they did a stream... Um, they did a Twitch stream that had captions and they were trying That's to right. talk about different mm-hmm. types of species, but you know, like the great tit is a bird, but uh, it, you know, it registers it as something you're not allowed to talk about or like a penis fish. That's a thing. That is a, that is a type of sea cucumber. That is its actual name. And you know, it's like, it doesn't know any better, but also people just had to name things in ways that are difficult to talk about. So thanks a lot. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Thanks yeah. science. We're all adults here. We should be able to handle this, these subject matters. We really I think. should, especially considering that some animals have really stupid names. So, Very true. You know. mm-hmm. um, okay, yeah. so a dick dick and... noise. I don't. Uh, we've been around dick dick somewhat I, frequently. I, I've never heard a dick dick make noise. Uh, let's see if we can find it. That's kind of like asking a giraffe to make a noise. You don't hear a lot of noise I don't out think of I've a giraffe. Heard a giraffe mm-hmm. make a sound of you. That's like it kind of makes the sound of its yeah, own name, know. right? Oh, no, you're right. It no, does. That's why it's called that, a dick-dick, because yeah. it makes a sound. You're right. Oh, I thought you were talking about a giraffe. Oh. <laughs> Great work, Brian. <laughs> no, you <laughs> don't. What? 
Yeah. It's like or something like that. That's close. Ooh, an, an ad for Excedra Migraine. Cool. Can you guys okay, hear that or no? Here. No. Oh, nope. well. You know, I'll to, you'll have to impersonate it for us. <laughs> yeah, right? Like that? Mm. I'm not really sure nothing. how I'm going to uh, transfer that to you guys. Um, cause it sounds, it sounds like something like a squeaker toy, kind of like, I don't have the vocal cords for this sound. I'm going to try though. Um, it's like a <laughs> kind of, but like squeakier, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. but like squeakier, uh -huh. but my vocal cords aren't built for that. It's like when your dog breaks a squeaky toy and it makes that like kind of airy sound, you know, like it kind <laughs> yeah. of squeaks, but not really. That's what it sounds like. <laughs> yeah. It's like, zit, yeah. Zit. Something like that. Anyway, we tried. Mm, mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Moving on. Because well done. This Good is shot. Really Good try. Freaking cool. uh, that was an amazing Thank effort, too. Thank you so much. Listen, I'm just out here. Hey, we got this leopard. I mean, it's all going to be downhill from here up to the leopard. I'm, I mean, this yeah, is pretty... we like we kind of peaked a little too soon. Yeah, that was... Uh... Oh, oh, yes, more. We, we got a pair of pair of dick dicks. Oh, a pair of dick dicks. We got dicks. two. Wow. A pair. Mm, we love them. Gotta love pair. it. That's incredible. To the left. Down. Down. There. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so Narnia said the animal, which shall not be named, does have a nose that looks like a Star Wars creature. It oh, does, but I can't and Aaron remember. said, "Dick Dicks equal Voldemort." Wow, close. Hydrate, hydrate, drink your water. <laughs> right, hydrate. Thank you, Ash. Well, speaking of Star Wars, it kind of reminds me too of a. I don't know if anybody in the stream knows what a Saiga is. Which are kind of like a giant dick dick. Mm -hmm. Here, which I'll pull it up. Are freaking mm -hmm. awesome. They are really cool. I do. Have we oh. ever had them at the park? Because they're sick. We have. So we used to have them at the park Those about 20, cool. 25 years ago. And, and they're amazing. Tell us about them. So they're a really highly endangered antelope from the Russian steppe region. So like eastern Ukraine, Russia, Mongolia. And they're interesting because there's like there's like about a million of them, but they're highly endangered before they're endangered because they experience massive die offs from livestock diseases every year. And a few hundred thousand of them could die in a season when diseases get introduced. And so it's really, really kind of a sad situation, but they're super unique and they have those long snouts like that so they can dig through the snow to get to uh, grass in the winter because they're from super cold areas. But the other thing that's kind of weird is, so they look like they're kind of big, but they're about the size of like a Thompson's gazelle. So they're only about two feet tall. Uh, so they're they're a lot bigger than a dick dick, but they're not nearly as big as you expect them to be when you see photos. Huh. Oh, interesting. Yeah, they look very stocky. And there are not any. At least like their torso. Yeah, and you won't, there are not any in zoological parks in the U.S. anymore. There's a few in Europe, but mostly in uh, Ukraine, there are still in some zoological parks. That's really sad. Hmm. They they're amazing crazy. animals. They look very... like something out of like Dark Crystal. Mm -hmm. And their their natural history is that there's supposed to be a lot of them in huge herds, and they have a really fast reproductive cycle. So they breed at about a year old. They have twins or triplets, and they have lots of babies all the time uh, because they don't have a real long lifespan either. That's very sad. So they're kind of they're kind of, well. It's just how they're made for nature. It's just a little quirk of the yeah. life of the saiga. Well, we learned something new today. A very difficult life, mm, apparently. Indeed. Mm. Uh, I've got a good got one. A wild hair. What this is. <laughs> oh wow, that was! So, I don't have a boom. That was so sound. <laughs> is it a bunicula though? That's the question. That's a bunicula. It always is. Ghost hair. Yeah. He's moving all right. Oh, there's that slate where we saw there's the our river before. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's an interesting time too. What is that dusk? Mm -hmm. What time is that? Yeah. Fourteen thirty-two. Yeah, I've never been good at military time. That's like that's so that only would be two, it's two, two thirty middle of the day. So it's just mm -hmm. about to rain then. Interesting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, I Could see the burbs. That's what it was. It was burbs. Other burbs. Oh. Burbs. Other. Two burbs. You know, it's oh. almost fourteen thirty-two here. It's fourteen twenty-seven. So pretty close. Yeah. yeah. Wow. I'm just saying. Another Ellie. Yes. Oh, a big bull. Really big bull. Big, He's huge. Big bull. Big boy. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. Big boy. Big old tusker. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah, that's a big old elephant. Yeah, that's a nice looking elephant. Alone? That is a nice mm -hmm. looking elephant. He's one, I think that's one of the better looking elephants we've seen on this stream. I think so. Very it's a very healthy looking mm -hmm. elephant. He looks he's got very big full, tusk. like he just ate a bunch of food. Yeah. Good for him. Mm -hmm. Out here thriving. Would he be by himself? 
Yeah. I mean, he could Excuse be moving that. between herds, looking for a female herd. He could be still a you know, younger adult bull uh, that's trying to find a group. Hmm. He's probably, I don't know, 15, 20 years old, something like that, at that size. So he'll get bigger, but it's still pretty big. Ooh. Ooh. Another ghost hair. Two banicula. Taylor's got a wild hair, what this might be. I do. <laughs> it's my joke, Gavin. I, I, that's why I was giving it back to you. I think Whoa. that's a camel. Oh, it is. It's like camel. I, can, I don't know. Gavin's weird. Sometimes he's like, oh, no, that knee is definitely from a garanum <laughs> or something. That's true. Uh, sometimes, yes, but in this case, no. It's just a run-of-the-mill um, Arabian or dromedary camel, which kind of is livestock in this part of the world. Which is crazy to me still. Still can weird. Can imagine just, like, Can't get used having to that. a camel? Yeah, and you see... In a lot of parts of Africa, you see camels in really random places, and you also realize, too, that all of those camels belong to somebody. None of them are wild, and so you'll just, like, run across a random camel out in the desert, and uh, you'll find a person close by that actually owns that camel. And he's strange. like, get away from my huh. camel. Yeah, yeah. Pretty, pretty much. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, nice cows. Cow. That's a good-looking cow got, right there. That's got a, got a lot cow. of neck going on down there. Look at that. It's mm -hmm. a lot. A surplus of ladies. Neck. He is kind of a looker. I mean, if you're into cows, yeah. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> and that, didn't you tell me last week or a couple weeks ago we were supposed to say cow or something? When we no, it's yeah. when you drive by cows, when you're in the car and you are driving and you see a field of cows, it is tradition that you, somebody in the car goes, cows. I, I don't see a lot of cows in downtown San Diego, so. What's happening here, Brian? What's happening? Oh, that's just Rushmore. You know, uh, he's letting himself in and he out. He hasn't made an appearance yet today, has he? Isn't it about time? He hasn't. No. I'm, okay. It's pretty close to time, I think. It's halfway through. Is it close to time? Give us the dog. Yes. There he is. I need to be closer. Oh. Closer. Closer. It's blurry. Brian. Why is it? It's, yeah, it's blurry. It. I don't know why it's Fix blurry. Fix it, Brian. Your tech support. Why is it blurry? Rushmore. I'm trying to, I'm trying to, let's see. He's not listening. I'm clicking. I don't know I'm why it's the AF is not working for You're some reason. When do, you, when do you click at a dog? Never. I don't no, know why it's doing that. You That's can weird. tell I don't have any pets. <laughs> oh, because I just spot focused it. Let's cancel. What's, okay, what's cancel. Oh, no, Brian, I want to no, no, okay. Okay. Cancel. There we go. No. Okay, let's try it. There he is. He's a cute He's buddy. Really unbothered by all this. Rushmore. His face is so deep in that pillow. He literally just gave me like the worst side <laughs> eye right now. He's like, don't Bombastic me. <laughs> side eye. Uninterested. Mm. Oh my god, he's so well, cute. Say hi, dude. You want to say hi? Let's see. Here. Oh, he's there a good cool. boy. Hi, buddy. Look at him. That's pretty sweet. He's, he's, he's really just not impressed. His, Are you all the sleepy? His expression is no, like... He's just, he's just born with that face. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Worded hogs. Worded hogs. I see some hogs. I see, I see some muddy hogs. At least three or four warded, four warded hogs. That is a muddy little hog. Oh, gotta love the warded hogs. I do. They're so cute. They're amazing. We had we had muddy hogs last week too, didn't we? Mm -hmm. We did. Several young ones, if I remember correctly. And ward hogs are not like Babarusa, right? Like their tusks aren't going to go through their. Correct. Roof. They grow at the sides of their face. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Fortunately for, for the warded hogs. Yeah, right. That is so wild. Yeah. Yeah, Babarusa is like you have a self-destruct mechanism. Like, why? Mm -hmm. it, your yeah. tusk could go all the way through the roof of your mouth into your brain and kill you slowly over time. Jeez. It seems quite painful to me. Yeah, it seems I, I terrible. Would, but they're really cute, and sure. I love them. So it's very sad. Yeah, you know we're here. We're home to a really nice pair of them here at the safari park. You do have a lovely pair. Are they father well, and he, son? I feel like they are. No, it's no, no. Uh, they're a, 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 a male female pair. Nice. Or Ki Orkima and um, not Orkima. I don't remember his name. Orkima but... and not Orkima. That's his name. <laughs> not Orkima. Yep. Ooh. Nothing. Uh, no, Taylor. There was something there. Was there really? What did you What did you just do? Where? What was there? There, there was an eland. I didn't see it. Whoa! The data's thrown off. I now didn't we're doing see it. crash science. <laughs> I didn't see it. You got to speak up a little faster than that, Gavin. Well, it was so. It was so brief. I'm the fastest click in the West. I, I know. I, mean, I should have seen it with Brian running right the show last week. It was like just drooling through. Like <laughs> I was taking my time. <laughs> it actually it did improve though. We actually, I was impressed. We found some stuff. We, we found some stuff. We found a rhythm, and it was it was great. 
I love that for you. I don't see anything in here, but Gavin, go ahead and be be. Oh, honest. Aaron said her eyes are working this week because she saw it. Oh yeah, Aaron couldn't see much last there time. There were a few <laughs> issues. Aaron had a few vision issues last week, and I recommended her seeing a specialist. <laughs> what happened to Aaron? She couldn't see anything. It was shocking. She wouldn't be able to see these pigs last week. It was like, oh, there's nothing there. Oh wait, there's two massive warthogs. Oh. Mm -hmm. Poor Erin just getting slayed. She can't even fight for herself because she's just in the comments. <laughs> Poor thing. Well, there would be nothing to disagree with. It's all factual. So this person has a name that I also think I probably can't say, but they say that pandas are the greatest animals on the planet, period. And while um, I know people love them, I've got to argue that point. I don't think that's I have true. a lot of issues with that take, Ooh. Um, but I'm going to let them have it because we value the opinions of all of our viewers. That's a fair point. Everybody is entitled to their own favorite animal, even if it's wrong. Yeah, fine. exactly. Every, you know what? There's nothing wrong with having an incorrect opinion. So anyone is entitled to that. You, you may. I think pandas make a very, very strong case, though, just to play the advocate. They are, um, yeah. Yeah. Very, very cute. I mean, very I much can cute. think of worse things. Like if somebody told me that their favorite animal was like a, snake. Like a boa constrictor. Yeah, I'd be like, ah, I mean... All right. They're cool in their own right, but I wouldn't put them in my top ten. Mm. That's not a leopard. Mm. I'm just no, it's, on the it's a goat. It's a, I'm trying to hit <laughs> livestock, and that's not working. Science has gotten so bad on here so quickly. <clears throat> sure, we saw two leopards. One looked just like a goat, though. Listen, I'm I'm <laughs> my last two brain cells are struggling for control at this point, so I need you to be nice to me. Okay. We're here to support you and lift you up, Taylor. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I bet. Oh, look at that. Nothing. Get out of here. You look like a lumberjack. Hmm? You look like a lumberjack. Oh, oh. me? Yes. The shirt? I don't want to talk about the shirt. It's a little upsetting, actually. I'm... Okay. Fine. Okay. We have here. There's a story. Tell but... me the story of the shirt. Oh. Okay, so I got... This... I got called into work last weekend and so I didn't get to go pick up my dry cleaning so I have run out of dress shirts that are not um more holiday related and this is basically a Christmas colored shirt <laughs> and everybody thought I was dressed for a Christmas party today um so I'm a little I thought that was going to be a better story but I appreciate well, it well it's a story not, it's my story Taylor it so is it is and it's authentically what happened to me mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. another hydrate it's, it's a good shirt though it's just the wrong color yeah. for June it's only the wrong color if you feel it's the wrong color. Well, you know. a lot of people have commented on it today, so it's made me a little self-conscious. Oh. Taylor's no, like the really. fifth person. Well, also, you just don't usually wear plaid? Hmm, that's true. More but, of a gingham guy, really. Yeah, I've, I don't think I've ever seen you wear plaid More. even in the winter. Mm. Good what point. is your dog doing, Brian? He will not sit down. <clears throat> well, what's going on? And I what have like plaid flannel shirts. I just don't wear them. I don't know why. Okay. Go figure. Those look like <laughs> elephants. We're not here to talk about fashion. Uh, those look like elephants to me. <laughs> <sighs> I love how many opinions Rushmore has today. So it's many. Kind of yeah, he's very opinionated today. Um, Does yeah, anyone we feel like I'm leaning at all in my chair because I'm a little concerned. <clears throat> Two of the screws have fallen out of my chair today while I've been at my desk, and I'm slightly concerned that I. It might collapse while I'm on the stream. I so that I really, I mean, why? I don't want to say I, I hope to, that happens. I, I have to find an happens. Allen wrench. and I don't have an Allen wrench in my office to fix it. But after the stream is over, I'm going to do that. Yeah, I think I think you need a new chair. <laughs> oh, by yeah, the way, Gavin, um, yeah. that wall back there is still blank behind you. Okay. And, and the hammer is still sitting wall. there, too. So. <laughs> I must have so been out of was, town. So, yep, someone on the stream was um, really enjoying Gavin's blank wall back there. <laughs> and I shared with them that there is a stack of artwork that I have never hung in my office, and somebody said they were going to send me a hammer, and I shared with them that there is actually a hammer sitting back there as well, and I just haven't <laughs> done anything about it. Do you have? Did you ever hang the photo that the National Geographic guy took of you? I know, but it's sitting right here. Do you want to show it to the class? Sure. Yes, I please. Love, I didn't know you had a Nat Geo photo. photog take your portrait. Uh, yeah, tell them the story. <laughs> So this is a, a photo <laughs> when we had the photo. Can you see it? Bring it closer. Bring it closer. It's tilted. Yeah. Nice. So we we were fortunate enough here at the San Diego Zoo and San Diego Zoo Safari Park to have out a photographer from the Photo Arc Project, which is an amazing project that is categorizing 
a photo of all animals in human care around the world as sort of a living ark. And it's an amazing project. And yours truly was lucky enough to be part of the photo shoot and did some testing of the lighting for the photographer. And he happened to take a slightly embarrassing photo of me and blew it up and sent it to me as a gift. It's pretty awesome. I just think it it's looks like because you're doing this. Yeah. And, and my my boss might have required me to hang it up in my office. So it's still not a vanity. Done it. You still haven't done it. But I'll just hold it here instead. Just like keep it with me. Yeah. <laughs> just yeah. every meeting, you just put it in your in your lap. Yeah, that's and people walk it's people can see it when they walk by my office and they go, Why do you have a photo of yourself sitting on the floor? See, I think that's what would really like set the tone, right? If you walk into the office and there's like a portrait of you hung behind well, you. I tried to decide <laughs> where in the office do I hang it because part of me thinks it should be back there so I'm not looking at it. But then I thought, well, should it be behind my monitors and my computer so people don't see it right away? But then I'm staring at myself all day. So it's like, it's a real give and take. I haven't decided. Mm -hmm. It's a fair mm -hmm. point. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this looks like something, but I, I, I really couldn't say what. Well, make an educated guess. Aardvark. That's not an educated guess. <laughs> I really want it to be an aardvark. I don't think it is though. I have tried for years to see an aardvark in the wild and have yet to do it. And so this is the closest I would have come. So let me have this. Are we really going to label it an aardvark? So here's why. It's by a big dirt mound. Do you see all the dirt that's that's been disturbed? Let's okay. see. I see an angled mm -hmm. back with a big thick tail. Mm -hmm. I see an, a low to the ground eye. I see a sort of a, a handsomely thick leg there on that aardvark. And it could be an aardvark. Okay. You're kind of selling it. See, I, I really, I actually do think it's an aardvark, which is pretty exciting because that would be a new species. We're going to go with it. And um, mm -hmm. and then that also gives me the opening to talk about the aardvarks that we have because <gasps> yeah. we love to talk about them. Tell, tell us about the aardvarks, Taylor. So we have three at the zoo specifically. We have Asan, we have Nandi, who is his daughter, and then we have Zola, who's the mom. And uh, it's pretty rare to have aardvarks be born. They have a really high infant mortality rate. So for us to have one was like a huge deal. And also, I really need to show all of you this photo of Nandi um, because she is so ugly that she couldn't be cuter if she tried. And that's just, I need you guys to see them because it just is so silly. I'm going to work on pulling that up, but you can continue to talk say, about it, aardvarks any, if you'd like. Yeah. Anytime soon? Or, or we have a um, another animal noise, and it is of an aardvark. I don't know how to make an aardvark. This, I did the other one. This is on somebody else. I don't think they make noise. Why do they pick animals that don't make a distinctive sound? Because they don't know they don't make a noise. I, I can go with the sound that I associate with an aardvark every time we filmed with, with them. Okay. And it's mostly just like... <laughs> Just because they're sniffing Sniff. the camera all the time. Oh, they do. <laughs> yeah, that works. Okay. Yeah. Let me find this photo of Nandi. She was born in March, right? Sure. Mm -hmm. I think it was March. Because it was just mm, after. I feel like. No, I think it's been longer than that. <laughs> I feel like it was like November. You literally don't know. I, I It's not March. Let's see. Let's see. I know I it's not March. It could have been May. No, May was last month. No, last year. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, gosh. Yeah, it was longer than this past March. Oh, okay. June? How was I to know which so year you were born referring to? Oh, all of this. Another stuff. hydrate? Another one. Oh, thank Mr. Big Wamba, thank so you for the hydrate. Mm hmm. Good thing Taylor's not running low. I'm having to water rationing mine. Well, I have photos of her, but you can't really tell it's her. I have so this is the photo of Nandi and um and her mom. She was born on well, the press release went out on June fourteenth. You guys really year. can't see that, can you? It's all blurry. What a bummer. No, I don't she, know how to make she was that. born May tenth. I only have May the one 10th. of her climbing on me. Taylor, <laughs> I know when she was born. When? May tenth. Yeah, that's when I have this photo Ooh. from. <clears throat> okay. And do you know how I know when she was born May tenth? Because I just Googled for the press release. Nice. Uh, I thought you guys would be stressed. I could do nobody, that. Yeah. nobody, tell anybody that I showed you this, but that's the photo. Oh my gosh! She's so ugly. She's cute. Get I there. can't stand it. Put it in front. Put it in front of your oh, face. Sorry. So you got some focus. The, the blur doesn't. There we go. That work. Yep. There she is. She is so <laughs> ugly that she is so cute. I. Uh, she's got like nasty little claws, and she's all covered in dirt. But now she's like an adorable lady, and we love her. And she stepped on my foot, and it really hurt because she's heavier she's than I. Big. She's a, she's a yeah. chonk, man. 
But when we when she was first born and we would we would try to film with her, she would smell Rushmore on Brian. So she would like try to crawl into Brian's lap, and we're like, no, 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 don't don't do that. <laughs> I have that photo of her like jumping on me. <laughs> so I just realized if she was born May tenth. She was born on the 50th anniversary of the safari park. Was she really? Yeah, May 10th is the 50th anniversary oh when gosh. we did that last year. That's oh. so exciting. Yeah. What a little nugget. That was a, that was a fun day. That was a fun day. Yeah, it was a good old time. It was a long day. We started at 3 a.m. And it got, I think the festivities wrapped up at about 10. Hmm. That was a really long day, especially for you because you had to do so many media hits. That was a really long day. And it was so cold. Even though it was May, it was like 45 degrees in the mornings. And we were like, our, my teeth were chattering as we were so doing the cold. first live hits. It's it was May awful. Gray. It was frigid. I'm looking for my... Okay, Aardvark. I think we... Definitely yeah. Aardvark. I'm going to yeah. say it's an Aardvark. You sold it. We're going. Yep. Ooh, ooh. Mm. We, we're really racking up the species. Another broken Whoa. camera. What is that? But there are legs. Um, I can probably tell. No, I, 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 I. let's see. Let's see. Let's zoom in, please. I, can I give keep some forgetting ID. you can tell what an animal is by its knees. <laughs> let's look at the other set of knees. Those knees are nondescript. Mm. Well, it's an antelope of some sort. I'm going to say it's a Harola. Okay, well, antelope is not an option. We had a Harola last time. Remember that? Mm -hmm. No, heart. Yeah, we had a heart. Oh, heart no, beast. it was a heart beast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Heart of beast. That's yeah. what you want? Heart of beast? <clears throat> yeah. Yep. We're going with it. We're going to say there's two of them because I don't see why it wouldn't be. Let's see. Let's look at the photo real quick. Is it? Uh, okay. All right. I'll give that to you. Yeah. Thank you, Brian. I appreciate the, <laughs> the, uh, the trust. <laughs> I don't get from Taylor. Yeah. No, no. <laughs> it's more trust than I received from Taylor, which is absolutely none. None, none so. at all. None. Whoa. That's a Zebs. Look at that. You got to think it's a Zebs. What kind of Zebs is it? Uh, that would be a plain Zebs. Nice. And I realized that Twitch is now starting to bleed over into my real life because I was out in the field with the team the other day and I started talking about our Zebs and they looked at me like I was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Zebs and Zebs. But that's now also we've done what, our job. Like, this is working in our office has made us um, unable to function because Brian is known in our office for always saying things weird. So now when we talk about chicken, we say chimkin. Um, the and there's just so many things that we say and we don't ever say them correctly and uh, and mm -hmm. I just love that about life so yeah we got the there's a lot of cheap there too. look at all the cheap <laughs> can you drive your own car through the safari park asked Narnia you can't unfortunately no but there we do are, have um, amazing guided safaris mm -hmm. honestly you can I jump on the back of a safari truck I think it's better to not be able to drive I've done a couple <clears> drive through <throat> safaris and like they're fine but I'm always stressed because what if it, I don't know, what if something comes at me? What if I come at it? What if I hurt something and I don't mean to? There's a lot of liability involved, you know? Yeah, and mm. Taylor is a noted bad driver, so I'm not completely surprised that it's fine. she finds you it stressful. You have never so even animals. been in my vehicle. No, but I, you've ridden in my car before, and I feel like that just seeing you as a passenger would scare me to see you as a driver. What does that even mean? How? I, I, what could I have possibly done as a passenger in a park vehicle that would make you think I'm a bad driver? You're a bad driver. You're the one over here spinning donuts I'm, in the dirt. I don't know. I was an excellent driver. I did not hit any wildlife during our drive around the park. Oh, so the bar is that low. Great. It's really the it. bar. <laughs> as it should be. Hopefully it's, it's, hopefully that is set pretty high. Good grief. <laughs> it's the standard. Can't. I'm being insulted what on my side. Is animals? it because I'm a woman? No, it's not. It's because you're from Georgia. That's worse. <laughs> yes. Another dick. Another dick, dick. Oh, it's a good side profile of a dick dick too. That looks. That is nice. Ah, it's like posing. Love that. It's a great mm -hmm. shot. Sort of a three quarter pose, if you will. I don't know mm -hmm. what that is. Well, it means you can see three quarters of the dick dick, Taylor. Oh. I don't see anything. Anybody else? No. 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 Okay, nope. Moving on. Nothing here. Nothing to see. You know, we haven't had a lot of ghost action this time. We've only had two. Not really. Yeah. It's like pretty minimal. Yeah. Not much. And then, you know, the one. why do I keep hitting leopard when I'm trying to hit I livestock? Love more leopards. <laughs> I think it was just so exciting that we got to use that. That was just very so exciting. exciting. Yeah. I just thought it was there for entertainment. Like, oh, you wish. Yeah. Wouldn't uh, you like. Whoa. Just like lying. Whoa. Oh. Look at that. We have some It's activity. a jumping giraffe. Jumping giraffe. That doesn't look. there. You think he's jumping to get food? I, I really wouldn't be able to speculate on that. You know, I can speculate if the knees belong to a hardebeast, but I couldn't speculate as to what the <laughs> giraffe is doing. 
Oh, what good are you? Yeah. How often do they leap like that? <laughs> uh, I think, yeah, probably he's just rearing up to get a leaf out of a tree, and he's just mid-action shot. But, I mean, pretty frequently. It's not unusual. Mm -hmm. It's just sort of a weird way to see him right yeah, now. Yeah, especially because it looks like he's got little bell-bottom jeans on his front legs. I love the shutter drag. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. Uh, it, this brings the question, if a giraffe wore pants, would it just be on its hind legs, or would it be across on all of its legs? Um, it would just be on his hind legs, because on the front legs he would wear a shirt. That's a fair hmm. point. But he doesn't have any hands, so he doesn't really have use for pants versus shirt, right? Maybe he could do like a sort of like a coverall situation. Ooh. Like, mm -hmm. I like that. I could, yeah, right. jumper. I'm more, I'm more curious about if he wore ankle socks. How high would the ankle socks go? I guess at least to his hocks back there. I mean, you know, what that like the, upper no. knee looking thing that's, that's not knee. a knee. No, I was saying below the knee, the hawk. This um, thing. Uh, yeah, uh -huh. that, that's the ankle. Hang on, I think I'll so. zoom in. I mean, technically, technically, his ankles are down by his feet, but it, mm. that's like his elbow. Wait, I thought their ankles weren't down by their feet because they stand like that. So that's like the heel, and then his elbow is what yeah. we think of as a knee. Yeah, it's the, the anatomy is a little different. Everything's confusing. I don't know anything. Yeah, I think let's just leave I it there. I apologize for everything all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Headlings are missing. But I need to know. I need you to tell me. I told you I'd wear a shirt already, and that wasn't good enough it for you. It wasn't good enough because I don't agree. Whoa, look at that. And on that fashion yes. statement, it's pretty good. Narnia said we should use the Toys R Us mascot, Jeffrey, Ooh. as a reference for giraffe Jeffrey fashion. Jeffrey wears clothes, right? Is Toys R Us still a going clothes? concern, by the way? Is that still a company? Or? So, no. yes, they actually just re not rebranded, but they refreshed and they closed all their mm -hmm. standalone stores, and now they have pop ups in like Macy's and other department stores. Mm. There's mm -hmm. a lot of companies that have sort of come back. Like Abercrombie's back, I just learned recently. Oh, Abercrombie's back again. Mm -hmm. As a 90s kid, mm -hmm. that was like a big development for me because it was like our our day rose and set on Abercrombie and Fitch in the 90s. And it, now it's back. Who knew? Well, and um, everybody mm -hmm. boycott Abercrombie and Fitch for a little bit because of who their CEO was and his beliefs. And yeah, it was oh, kind yeah. of problematic, yeah, right? So problematic. So mm -hmm. I guess they got mm -hmm. rid of him or yeah. something, and now Abercrombie's cool again. Yeah, I mean, I, re I made a purchase recently of a few things, and it was kind of good I stuff. bought a pair of their jeans and some shorts, and honestly, I'm very impressed. Well, as a tall human being, I appreciate that they have things that are in taller sizes. They do, so. yeah. And oh, they also, good. now they have um, Curve Love, so that's like for all different types of body shapes, cool. which is lovely. We love that. They've really sp swung the pendulum on inclusivity from not to inclusive. Mm, true. True. The non-fancy non guineas. Poor things, not fancy. Which would be the hel helmeted variety. Who knew that we would have, you know, fashion twitch? We would have wildlife twitch. We'd have everything in between. All the twitches. There is everything. There's no topic we won't discuss. That's not true. There's probably no. quite a few, but um, yeah, we haven't I mean, found them yet. We're certainly certainly go where folks wouldn't expect. I think that's safe to say. You, it's all in the name of conservation and wildlife. True. You may tune in, and and we could be talking about anything, and it's all for the animals. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's our dedication. Wow. Look at that livestock. Amazing. I'm hoping for one more exciting species today. I know, me today. too. We've got yep. 10 minutes left, so we've, we've got a second well, or like, two. Okay, we've got some time. I feel like the leopard is just such a high, and I'm starting to come down. I know, me now, too. So. I'm Ooh. like, it's just a lot of goats. Yeah, I need that next jolt of excitement. Gavin, I think you have this one in, in your... What? In your repertoire. <laughs> a guinea fowl noise. <laughs> oh, no, it's like the worst sound ever. Perfect. <laughs> what? Is that what they sound like? I'm actually like very, very surprised that you knew exactly what they sound oh, like. Oh right yeah, it's a distinctive sound. Do that one more time. Did hit... No, please. I already did it. <laughs> We're gonna clip it. Chat, clip it, please. Yeah, someone needs to clip that. I'll clip it. I can clip it through here. <laughs> That's my closest guinea sound. Perfect. Center. Uh, I'm going to actually search what a guinea fowl sounds like, and we're going to see how close. <laughs> it's not quite there. We can't like hear it, though. Oh, no, you can't hear it. I don't know how to fix that. I'll have to do it on my phone again. Can you play it from your phone into your headphones? Yeah, Is that's that possible? What, that's the workaround let's that see. I've been doing. Uh, guinea. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Sound. I mean, it's super distinctive. Okay, hang on. I got it. No, I'm playing it first.
That is obnoxious, and I hate that. <laughs> and I tell you what, I think that the cadence of my uh, sound was correct. I didn't quite have the pitch right because my vocal cords don't go there. Hold on, I see an animal. Where? Oh, that corner under the tree. Nice. Oh, nice. Yeah. So I was saying that the pitch wasn't correct.